Concerns over the health of the Chinese economy had a significant impact on financial markets overnight. The sources of concern came from two areas. Firstly, BHP Billiton indicated that the imports of iron ore by the Chinese had effectively plateaued, leading to concerns of a slowdown in steel production in China. The other area was in terms of fuel prices, where the Chinese government significantly increased fuel prices, in fact, by the biggest jump in almost two years. So what impact did these announcements have on world markets? Looking at equity markets first, there was a significant impact on the Dow, which fell by nearly 60 points. European markets also reflected a similar outcome, with most indices falling by around 1 to 1.5 per cent. Local markets, however, closed before the news came out, with the NZDX50 relatively flat and the ASX200 down a rough, around 15 points. Looking at currencies, again, we saw a flight away from commodity oriented currencies such as the Kiwi and the Australian. The Kiwi was down against most of its major trading partners and was back down through the 82 cent US barrier. Prices across all categories of dairy products fell again in last night's GDT auction. This is the fourth consecutive fall in the total index, which fell by roughly 4.5%. The primary culprit was the fall in anhydrous milk fat, which fell by nearly 9.5%, reversing some of the gains in the last auction and actually falling now to levels last seen in November 2011. That wouldn't be so bad, but those prices from 2011 were the lowest that was seen since August 2009, so there has been a significant fall off. Another significant loser was cheddar, which fell by 11%. Milk powders weren't immune from the fall either. Skim milk powder fell by nearly 2%, and whole milk powder fell by 2.6%. The falls weren't actually necessarily unexpected, the reason being that volumes are significantly up. And this has also been reflected in the Fonterra payout reduction, which was reflected last week. However, one would hope that the rot hasn't set in and that we'll see prices levelling out. 